Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about yet another coding agent, but this is an asynchronous coding agent and they call it as uh, Jules. So Jules is from Google and it is going to change the landscape of coding a bit further. So the way they, the, the, the Jules really work is that it is going to obtain the access of your repository, like GitHub repository, and then it is going to uh, let you give some tasks to it. And based on the task that you give, it is going to go and modify the code in the repository by running a series of agents. And then it is going to give the result for you to review. And once uh, it reviews and it, once it is happy, like once you are happy with the review uh, of the code, and then you can uh, merge the code into the repository and then you get the new feature. So everything is going to work inside the jewels using a virtual sandbox machine, which is going to be created every single time while you are going to ask Jules to do those tasks. So this is pretty much exactly the same kind of a tool which was introduced by GitHub Copilot's coding agent uh, yesterday in uh, in the GitHub Copilot uh, meet. And also this is pretty much like an uh, like a cloud version of the cursor IDE, if you just want to put it that way. So Jules, again, uh, there is no waiting list or anything like that. It was just introduced today uh, in the Google I.O. meet. So you can see this is what is the Google Jules. Uh, you can do the GitHub integration. It creates a virtual machine. I was just talking about like it is going to create uh, uh, a virtual machine sandbox on the cloud uh, and it's going to clone your code and then it's going to verify all the change and then it is going to suggest new changes based on the prompt that you are going to be giving in and it also going to run the test uh, for you on this particular jewels which is going to be pretty amazing basically you can run uh, the existing tests or you can create a new tests on the jewels using this particular uh, virtual machine uh, that you have cloned your code repository in. And also it's going to show you all the difference and things which is going to be pretty amazing once you see that really works. And this is what they have shown over here. And I have a working version of the jewels. I can quickly show you uh, how it looks like. So this is the, um, the jewels.google.com page. Like this is the documentation we have got. But if you just go to jewels.google over here, try to uh, Jules, I have already signed in. That's the reason why I'm going to be taken uh, over here directly. And I asked a very, very super simple question. And because of the the traffic uh, in the Jewel right now, I couldn't be able to even perform a simple operation. So I asked, uh, you know, just help me fix the pipeline and run the test for this Playwright CI CD uh, repository. It couldn't be able to do it because of the high traffic. But the way you actually work with this Jewel is that you see that I have authorized my GitHub repository with the Jewels, like connectivity that you do. And then it's gonna show me all the repository that I have got, including my private repositories and public repository. Everything is gonna be shown over here because that is the level of access that I have given to it. Uh, and then you can choose any of the repository. For instance, I'm gonna choose uh, let's say the Selenium Grid Docker over here. This is the main branch that I'm going to choose. And I'm going to say, can you uh, analyze the code and give me some suggestions, something like that. And if I just hit get me the plan, it is going to suggest the plan by spinning up a virtual machine. You see that it is saying that booting up the VM for you over here. So it's going to spin up a virtual machine. It's going to uh, do a git checkout of the code from the particular repository. And then it is going to uh, do the analysis. Uh, and then it is going to give the code suggestion that I have asked really. You see that now it is doing the cloning of the XR automation Selenium git docker over here, uh, which is amazing. So something is uh, really happening there. So let's wait for uh, the execution to happen. But I have seen so far, uh, based on my uh, test, this uh, entire operation has never happened because of the high load, uh, which the Google Jewel is currently going through. Uh, but you see that there is a daily limit of five for me, and I have already used three of them. But uh, let's wait for what is really going to happen uh, in this particular uh, code base. See that it has got the uh, code. It is now reading the pom.xml file. Uh, let's see what is the uh, the actual suggestion the Google Jewel is going to give to us. Oh, look at that. Now it is reading the Selenium uh, demo main page test.java, which is amazing. 
so it's uh, iterating through all the uh, test files and in the meantime because this is an asynchronous coding agent uh, it can do things asynchronously which is amazing so if i just go and see what's really happening to my other things uh, well this, there is no luck on there uh, this is still starting shortly or at least uh, this guy is doing something there so we should see some kind of result so just let's wait for some time before i actually get the result there we go as you can see that we have got some review over here so it's uh it's gonna tell me that these are the code that it has analyzed so it, it feels like these are the changes that we can do it says that review the main uh, page test 2.java which is this one uh, and it says that refactoring uh, this will uh, with encapsulation of the web elements to provide action methods so that's what it is doing over here and this is also saying that the externalization of the hard-coded URL, which is currently like uh, within this particular uh, file. So it's saying that we need to externalize that. And it is saying all the plan is being approved. And you see that once the plan is approved, like once I say it's okay, then you will see that it now it is trying to work on fixing that particular code. So pretty much like the ask part of the cursor IDE uh, and then the agent part that you do. Uh, that's what really is happening over here. See that this is how things are going to work uh, with the jewels uh, over here. All right. So now I have waited a few more minutes uh, to get this point over here that see that the code has been completely uh, written for us over here based on the analysis that the jewels has done for us. Uh, and it has given me these details. So it has reviewed the main page test 2.java confirmed it also requires refactoring for the page object model principles and assertions it knows that we have to follow the principles of the pom and assertions so it is confirmed that there needs a refactoring so it has done that for us over here so if i just go to the main page test 2 uh, which is this one you see that now the code has been changed and there is some assertion happened over here so that change has been shown over here so there is a change in assertion happened which is quite amazing so it has done that for me over there and you see that it's all in the change uh, log kind of thing because it, now these codes are going to be checked in into the GitHub as a branch for us. I will show you quickly how it looks like. And similarly, it has analyzed the uh, the main page test uh, dot Java as well. And you see that now it has encapsulated it, which is quite amazing. And it has also gone through the code uh, to see what are the other assertions and changes that it can do. You see that how many changes that it has did asynchronously without me doing anything now it has also <laughs> refactored the code in such a way that it needs some property to be added uh, uh, for the code and for all the tools page it has added another page object model code itself um, to follow the principles and then it has added it for me uh, and it has added another page for search result page dot java uh, and it has keep on doing things for me. And you see that it has also created a config.properties file like externalizing the um, the URL for me. Uh, and that's been added as well. And now everything is created and it has also created an, a branch for me to review over here. Look at that, like it has created all of them. Now if I just publish this particular branch, you will notice that this branch is going to be published for me in my github repository so now if i go and hit this view the uh, branch look at that now there is this particular uh, branch in my exit automation github repository i can now compare and create a pull request i can create a pull request see i have done nothing over here uh, and the pull request is now being added for me there and there is going to be one more amazing thing which is going to happen because i have also configured the amazon q developer along with my uh, repositories over there you see that now the amazon q developer is automatically kicking in which is another video that i have covered about the amazon q for the cli if you have not really watched it please go ahead and watch there uh, it is also amazing because now you see that this guy is going to help me to start doing some security vulnerabilities in my code and also it is going to provide me some suggestion if there needs any improvements as well uh, so look at that. Uh, in the meantime, while this Amazon Q is doing it for me, I can see all the changes is going to be coming up for me over there. Every single bits of code is written by the jewels for me. And you see that how things are happening. Now, I'm not even writing a single line of code. Every prompt that we have got over there is doing it for me. Uh, and in the meantime, this Amazon Q developer is also 
going to do uh, the code review for me and it's going to give the suggestions look at that it's giving me the suggestion that these things uh, can be uh, there is a static initializer block for for that so it's going to throw unchecked exceptions which can lead to unexpected program terminations consider handling exception gracefully uh, and do things guess what this uh, suggestions will also be improved and this um, this Amazon queue is also going to uh, help you generate the code fix for the suggestions above. So this is the first thing which queue does. It gives you the suggestion by, by reviewing your code. It also helps you uh, go a level further to suggest you uh, how to fix this code as well, which is even more amazing. So we can do two combos together like two developers working for me in the same time to fix my test code and also improve my code and things are going to just happen without me writing even a single line of code that's the state of uh, the jewels and of course software developers today I like how things are going to be evolving but you can see that this is already amazing once again thank you so much for watching this video what do you think about all this evolution put me the details in your comments below and once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one